It's a shiny! No, come back! Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and on this one we're going to be going over the best Heracross build for raids on Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. We're going to start off with the location, so you want to come to the top left corner of the map, put a waypoint right here, and you want to fly over to Gracia Stones. Once you're here, you just want to climb this wall, and then you just want to make your way over and look for Heracross until you see him. Oh, there he is. After you find him, you want to go ahead and catch him, but make sure he is a Bug-type Terror, because that is the Terror we are going to be using. It shouldn't take you too long to find him he's not that hard to find the item we're going to be using is the loaded dice i'll show you where to get that right now so what you want to do is you want to fly over to lavincia north once you get here you just want to head in this direction and you want to make your way over to the deli bird shop once you're here you want to click battle items and then you want to buy the loaded dice for twenty thousand poker dollars what this does is all the multi-strike moves like rock blast pin missile and stuff like that it will ensure that every time you use one of these moves you will either hit a four or a five so you won't hit the one two or three so in heracross's situation we're going to use pin missile it has 25 damage it can hit two to five times but it will guarantee four or five every single turn and that will ensure that we have a hundred damage or 125 damage power pin missile every single turn once you get out of the shop i want you to turn right and i want you to go forward to this black and green shop right over here with a chansey on the front of it i want you to go inside there and i want you to buy the adamant mint because that's the nature we're going to be using it'll cost you 20 20,000 and it's up in attack and down in special attack because we won't be using special attack and then after you use it you should see an up arrow on your attack and a down on your special attack on your second tab our EVs are going to go into HP and attack any leftovers you can put into special defense now you're going to want to make sure you have max IVs on everything except special attack as well this will ensure that we are winning as many raids as we can if you don't know where to get max IVs uh, if you go to any deli bird shop they're all in the main cities and then instead of battle items I want you to click on general goods and there'll be bottle caps for 20,000 each. Each bottle cap will be one perfect stat. So it will be five for each Pokemon, which will cost you 100,000 Poké Dollars. After you've got your bottle caps, I want you to head over to Montenever. Once you're here, I just want you to head over here to the guy with the Obama Snow, speak to him. He will hyper train your Pokemon. After you choose your Pokemon, and then you want to click on bottle caps, and then you want to click HP, attack, defense, special defense, and speed. We don't want to click special attack because that would be a waste of money because we only have seven. 76 special attack now as for the stats you should be ready now to get onto the ability and the move set so our ability is going to be swarm this powers up bug type moves when the pokemon's hp is low so when our hp is at a third or below then our attacks will increase by 50 percent if it's a bug type move and this really helps us dish out that damage when we're on low health our move set is going to be pin missile sword stance iron defense and mega horn pin missile is going to be our main move 95 accuracy it's going to hit most of the time and as for the power it says 25 but because of our item we're going to be hitting 100 or 125 so our stance to increase our attack by two stages when we use it iron defense in case we're against the physical attacker we can use that once and then we can get into the sword stance this will make us last a lot longer in battle and mega horn that's just there for an extra move in case pin missile gets like disabled or anything like that now we're gonna learn pin missile sword stance and mega horn all through level up so you don't need to worry about them but we will need a TM for Iron Defense. If you don't know where to get TMs, all you have to do is go to any Pokemon Center and it'll be the green section. You just want to speak to that. It's the TM machine. Now to get TM 88 Swords Dance, you will need 5,000 LP, free Zangus Claw, free Gibble Scales and free Cypher Claws. I'll show you where to get those right now. And then we're going to fly over to the Shrine. If you don't have the Shrine, just go to the Puckle Path Lighthouse and then you just want to make your way over there. As soon as you climb this cliff, then you will be able to find Zangus around here so just keep an eye out he can be quite hard to find sometimes so he's not appearing for you you can just make a sandwich normal type sandwich it'll make him appear a lot more and then you just want to take out the zangus to get your zangus claw and now we can move on to gibble to get gibble we're going to put a waypoint right here and fly over to alpha nada once you're in alpha nada we're going to be going over to this cave that's right over there once you get inside the cave it should say alpha nada cavern and you just want to make your way down this path slowly so you don't miss anything and gibble and goodbye it should spawn if you just search around here most of the time you will find him by the time you get to the bottom of this little path here but on the odd chance you don't you can always use a sandwich or just keep looking until he appears oh my god it's a shiny save the game no come back i'm ready can't believe we just run into a shiny dano crazy okay green pokemon green pokeball don't let me down i've only got one of them please don't break out no i don't like this pokemon anymore and there it is he's beautiful i like him again now surely we've got to do a hydragon video soon now oh yeah we 
need to find Gibble. Starting to think these Gibbles really don't like me today. As soon as I activate the sandwich, there's a full group of them. There we go. You just want to take them out and get your Gibble scales. Now we've got to get our Cypher. What you want to do for Cypher is you want to put a waypoint right here and then you want to fly over to Casaroya Watchtower number one and then you can just make your way over and drop down. <laughs> Once you drop down it shouldn't be too long until you run into your cypher and then you just want to take it out so you can get your cypher claw. Now that we've gone over the build let's get into some raids. So we found our first raid it's a dark type five star bramble ghast. Let's get straight into it. Now bramble ghast is a physical attacker so we're going to use iron defense first turn. Oh apparently it's not. I know it does have high physical attack though. Now that we've upped our defense we're going to use swords Dance second turn. If we're against a special attacker, we won't use iron defense, we'll just use swords dance. And then we're gonna get straight into the pin missile, get ready for this damage. One, two, three, four, four times. Beautiful damage. Shield's gonna go up now. Keeps using Giga Drain. Maybe it's got no physical attacks. There's the shield. I've just checked, it does have 115 base attack. Crazy. The things you see. It steals some of our terror charge. As long as it doesn't nullify our stats, I'm fine though. Grassy terrain goes up. Now we're going to use Pin Missile again. It's still doing quite a bit of damage. It will hit four times at least. So we hit the four times and we took about half, maybe a little bit more of the shield off. Now the reason we're using Pin Missile over Mega Horn is because I don't trust the 85% as opposed to the 95%. I feel like it's a lot more reliable. Oh, we got a crit. So that has took the shield off. Hit four times again. It uses Shadow Ball. Now keep in mind, all this damage that you'll see in, this is without our ability kicking in, which is Swarm. If Swarm was active, we'd be doing 50% more damage on top of that. And we wasn't even terrestrialized because it stole our Terror Charge. So on top of that and Swarm, we'd be doing a ridiculous amount of damage. Heracross, the GOAT. The Go of bug types. Well, that's raid one over with. Let's get into raid two. We found our second raid. It's a psychic type, a five star Tinkerton. Let's start it up. So we've used iron defense first turn. It has got that strong steel type move and it is a physical attacker. Second turn, we're going to use sword stand to raise that attack by two stages. So now we're on plus two attack, plus two defense. There it is, the Gigaton hammer. It's a crit as well. We take that very well. And now we're going to hit them with a pin missile. Look how much damage it's doing. Does quite a lot of damage, takes it to about half. I would imagine this thing has quite high defense it looks like it does steal some of our terror charge we just can't have these terrors can we we're gonna mix things up put a mega horn in there why not and then we're gonna go back to pin missile because i just don't trust mega horn it's not doing that much damage because the shield's up it's just used play rough and our attack drop so that's not good either so we use pin missile again i just want to get the terror at this point it hits five times this time i think that's the first time we've ever hit five times it's normally four times repeatedly it puts us on 100 health just in time for our terror so we're actually gonna terror here because we're in swarm range as well i would imagine this will do a lot of damage not as much as it could do because the shield's up but let's see what it does so we use pin missile well we terrored and swarmed let's see how much one does that does a lot of damage that's two that's three five will kill let's see if we get it that's four we do get the five and we do get the kill we was only plus one attack then as well well that's tinkerton down let's get to the third raid so we found our third raid it's a five star psychic type glamora this should be a good test for us because it is one of the highest special attackers on the game and it has high defense let's begin now this is gonna just poison us straight away we're just gonna get straight into the sales dance because it's a special attacker this will put our attack on plus two i'm guessing it'll use mortal spin yep right we're poisoned guts would have been really useful here but ah well we're gonna use sales dance again to go on plus four we'll mix it up uses mortal spin again for some reason am i gonna be poisoned all raid is it gonna be one of them so we've used sales dance again we're just gonna go max attack and see how much damage this actually does should be fun to see i highly doubt it will kill because of its high defense should do a decent amount of damage though let's see wow oh it was a crit so that was one that was two if we get five hits this will be really good so that's four four hits okay that's still really good damage so its shield goes up is it going to nullify our stats that's the question everyone steals the terror charge it just stole it two terror charges in like three seconds what's that this has got to be cheating has it nullified our stats we're in swarm range if this hits this will do a lot of damage we're on plus six still this should break the shield actually will it no it won't we've got to get five hits to break the shield we do get five hits that's amazing the shield's gone down it'll finish us off now it uses terror blast wow oh no it didn't heal so it hit clods eye 
uses power gem on us, which finishes us off because of the poison. That's the shield broke. We take poison damage and go down. We can just finish it when we come back. Now that we're back, we just use pin missile and finish the job and Glamora goes down. That went a lot better than I expected. If this video doesn't convince you to go make a Heracross right now, I don't know what will. No Mystica. Terrible behavior. Now, if you want to see the best Iron Fawns build on Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, then click on screen right now and I'll catch you on the next one.